Welcome back. Today, we're going to cover our first EV evolution. We're going to be looking at Jolteon, though I know it's not Jolteon behind me. I did come over to the Galar region to try to find a Jolteon, but unfortunately, it's just Clefairy over here right now since there's not a thunderstorm, but I'll cover that later. Looking at Jolteon, this Pokemon is sure to be shocking, as it builds up electricity in its fur. Jolteon is the electric evolution of Eevee. A Thunderstone can be given to an Eevee at any level and it will evolve into this amazing electric Pokemon. This is due to Eevee's ability to adapt and evolve into different types. You can check out my first video in this series for more on Eevee. Much like Eevee, Jolteon has long bunny ears or fox ears. They have short, slender legs, a small black triangle nose, and a cat-like muzzle. The white mane encircling its neck isn't floofy like Eevee. Instead, it's spiky and flat. Though its tail is not usually visible, Jolteon has a small, spiky little nub hidden underneath the long fur that extends from the middle of its back and past its backside. Jolteon are generally about 2 feet and 7 inches tall, or 0.79 meters, and they weigh around 54 pounds, or 24.5 kilograms. The short stature and low weight keeps them agile, and they excel at outrunning most Pokémon. Though their cells create small electrical charges from the negative ions they absorb from the atmosphere, they also use their fur as a conductor to build electricity. Their fur turns to rigid bristles that rub together and create electricity as they move, which may be why most people hear a sparking sound whenever Jolteon is moving around. This is what enables Jolteon to use moves like Thunderbolt and electric attacks that can go up to 10,000 volts. They have excellent speed stats, which helps them build up electricity. They have incredibly powerful back legs, which help them build up speed but also make moves like Double Kick extremely powerful. Jolteon's fur is not only offensive, but it is also defensive as well. The bristles are sharp and stiff when they build up electricity, and they stand out from their bodies like quills. If a Jolteon feels threatened, it can launch these electric spikes at an enemy. This is often seen in moves like Pen Missile, which Jolteon learns at level 25. However, trainers should be aware that Jolteon is not an easy Pokemon to handle. Matter of fact, new trainers are advised against getting a Jolteon as they are very sensitive and temperamental Pokemon. This can cause them to have massive mood swings faster than they can run. It is recommended to earn their trust first or bond with an Eevee before taking on the electrifying emotions of a Jolteon. It is thought that their electrical charge and volatile temperament can produce thunderstorms and lightning even when they're not in battle. Trainers should also be aware that when Jolteon exhales, they may hear crackling sounds. This is due to an organ in their lungs that also builds up electricity. This can even be heard as they sleep, which is kind of super cute. Jolteons are used in many regions and are excellent at electrical work, as I'm sure you guessed. Trainers have even used them to help herd together Magnemites or power up generators. Their natural ability, Volt Absorb, makes them the perfect helper for electrical work or anyone dealing with a whole bunch of storms. Volt Absorb will help a Pokemon absorb the electrical current when they're hit with it. Instead of being damaged, it'll actually just heal them. Jolteon's hidden ability, Quick Feet, has some great uses as well. If Jolteon has a status problem such as poison or is paralyzed, then its speed will be boosted by 50%. On top of that, the normal speed reduction that comes with being paralyzed will not affect the Pokemon with this ability. Outside of battle, if Jolteon is the first in your party, wild encounter chances are decreased by 50%. Trainers in the Galar region should be aware that this ability decreases the chances of hidden encounters by 87.5%. So for those of you who frequent the tall grasses, this could be a blessing so Pokemon aren't jumping out at you from seemingly nowhere. Since Jolteon is an electric type Pokemon, it can learn some really amazing electric moves like Discharge and Thunder. However, 
Being an Eevee evolution, it can also learn moves that it might not normally have, such as Wish, Pickle, Flail, and Yawn. These are some egg moves that Eevee can learn and keep whenever it evolves into a Jolteon. When using TMs, you can teach it some pretty amazing moves that electric types might not normally have. A few of these moves are Rain Dance, Hyper Beam, Toxic, Strength, Dig, and Rock Smash. These can be really helpful whenever you're going on your journey. However, Jolteon does have a weakness to ground type attacks. It is resistant to flying, steel, and electric attacks though. This means that moves of those type only do half the damage that they normally would. Moving over to the Pokedex, there's a lot of entries for all the different regions, and some Pokedexes will load up different entries even in the same region. My friend sent me this clip of their Pokedex entry from the Kanto region. Let's take a look. Jolt! 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 Jolteon, the lightning Pokemon. When angered or frightened, the hairs on Jolteon's body become like needles that are fired at its opponents. It absorbs charged atoms and can produce 10,000 volts of electricity. Another example is in the Sinnoh region, one Pokedex might tell you it controls 10,000 volts of power and can raise all of the fur on its back as if they were sharp needles. But another Pokedex might say something like, if agitated, Jolteon uses electricity to straighten out its fur and launch it in small bunches. This happens with a lot of Pokemon, so make sure to check your Pokedex, but also ask your friends what their Pokedex has said. You might be surprised at the information you can find out about Pokemon that's different from what your Pokedex might say. Looking at Jolteon's stats, we can see that they are extremely fast. Matter of fact, Excluding legendaries or mythical Pokemon, it ranks in the top 10 as one of the fastest Pokemon, at least out of the ones that have been discovered. The base speed is 130, maxing out at 394 when it's EV trained and has perfect IVs in speed. Its lowest stat is defense at a base of 60. This means that even with perfect IVs or EV trained in defense, Jolteon will only have a defense of 240. This can be troublesome, but your fast as lightning cutie will still do great against a lot of enemies since their special attack is their second highest stat coming in at a base of 110. With this, if they have perfect IVs and EV trained, Jolteon can have a special attack of 350. Though they may not be able to tank everything, Jolteon is an excellent powerhouse of attack and will definitely be getting the first hits in due to their speed. Jolteon can be somewhat of a hard Pokemon to find. They're generally found near towns, though it's kind of rare, but they do like to stay close to electrical places such as power plants. You will need to find an Eevee if you want to get a Jolteon, unless you're lucky. However, there are some rare sightings in the Ruin Valley grasses of Kanto while using a lure. In the Galar region, which I'm in right now, they're said to be found near the Lake of Outrage, near this stone circle during a thunderstorm. They can also occasionally be found at the Giant's Mirror in their Dynamax form for those who venture looking for raids. It's said in ancient Sinnoh, which used to be known as the Hisui region, they could be found at Coronet Highlands during some sort of storm that used to happen. At least, that's what I read. In the Paldea region, they can be found in the West Providence, Area 3, and also in the North Providence, the Socarrat Trail. We're now going to look at a few more stats on Jolteon, specifically ways to get good stats, but also the natures you might want to look for. So I'm going to head over to the daycare. I'll meet you over there. Alrighty guys, we're in the Gala region still over at the Pokemon daycare. When looking for the perfect EV to evolve, it's important to look at where it excels. Eevees with good speed and special attack stats are perfect for evolving into Jolteon. With that in mind, it might be best to find one with a timid or modest nature. Since the base defense of these Pokemon is low, you could do with a hasty or mild nature as well. However, Pokemon with a hardy, docile, serious, bashful, or quirky nature are always safe bets. These Pokemon may not get a good boost 
in any stat, but they are neutral stats and don't decrease any of the other stats, and that's always nice. Another important thing is to train your Jolteon. The best way to train your Jolteon would be to work on its speed. This can be done by EV training, which if you take it out and find other fast Pokemon, then it will build up its speed. Now, those Pokemon really just depend on what region you're in, but I'm sure you can find somebody who knows. It's also very important to build up their special attack if you do plan on taking on big competitions like the Elite Four or gyms. Overall, Jolteon is a fantastic Pokemon that I know can be a little bit troublesome or hard to work with, but is very rewarding. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I've had a lot of fun making it and going to the different regions. Learning more about this electrifying Pokemon was an absolute blast, and I can't wait to look at the other Eevee evolutions. Let me know what your favorite fact was. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next adventure. Bye! Is that... Guys, guys! I think there's a legendary that's terrifying. I don't have any Master Balls.